put it. No, what you oh, here for? we go. Oh. Here we go. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Oh, boy. This was on my desk today. There you go. A little heart shaped sucker from Bo. Thank wait, you. Wait, 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 and not wait, wait, to be all, outdone. All out. Kristen Farley there you go. Fun That's Dip. Right. So trying, thanks, you guys. We're trying to make sure the dentists in the area are in. Uh, <laughs> but it was sweet, and it's yeah. the little things that mean a lot. Things. You know, it yeah, sure. shows someone that you care and you're thinking about them. It is Valentine's Day after all, so that, thank you. Oh, no problem. My pleasure. A day to celebrate love. And you know, one of the traditional ways to do that. Is to give your sweetheart a beautiful bouquet. Yeah, there's always that. Our WHE 6 on your side reporter, Gabriella Pagan, is live downtown at the Flower Pot. Gabriella, lots of last minute shoppers there. Lots of love. We actually just watched a shopper come in and get some cash and carry roses and dart out before we got them on camera. I don't know if that was on purpose or what, but I'm joined here with Annie Browning. She is one of the fabulous florists here at the Flower Pot on Gay Street. She's taking us kind of on a tour of the flower shop, yeah. telling us what people are mostly coming in for. Biggest question on everyone's minds right now, it's about 4.30. Mm -hmm. Is it too late if you've maybe forgotten? No, it is not too late. We still have plenty of cash and carry roses. We have arrangements made. We are staying open a little later. We will be here until 6 at least. Um, typically, we close at 5, but we will be here. So if you still need something, come right on in, and we will get you taken care of. Okay, awesome. Yeah. And you said it's not, when is too late, 6 o'clock? Probably six o'clock might be too late. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What have people been most coming in for as we walk around and show everyone what all you have to offer for Valentine's Day? Because you said it's not just your typical red roses either. No, no, not typically. Um, we do really enjoy um, the red roses. Everybody does. They want to grab these and go because they're quick, they're easy, they're ready to go. People really are looking for tulips this year, and we have lots of beautiful tulip arrangements. Um, and then we have some other flower arrangements with mixed flowers. But yeah, tulips, red roses, pink roses. You said pick a color too. It doesn't have to be flowers, succulents. We're on this love beat today. We are going all around Knoxville bringing you everything. Last question really quick. How did you celebrate Valentine's Day this morning before you left to come here and help others? Oh, it was the most romantic thing. I left a card, you know, behind the toilet for my husband so he could see it before he, when he got up this morning. Because so. she got up so <laughs> early to come here reporting live at the Flower Pot in Gay Street. I'm Gabriella Pagan. We'll have much Man. more you coming up later. Thanks, Gabby. She's keeping it real. <laughs> that's right. That's what I like. All right. Thank you, Gabriella. It's the thought that counts. Uh, we should note those of the flower. <laughs> Pot are not the uh, only ones spreading the word of love today. As a matter no. of fact, <laughs> we were out and about as well. We were, you know, we here at WHTE <laughs> were happy to volunteer for yeah. such a good cause today. Let's take a look at some video here. Um, it's, it's a bunch of us who were out volunteering, actually delivering delicious treats from nothing but cakes. There, Bo and Kristen there. Uh, 900 of the tiny cakes went out to a special someone. Here's how the deal worked. For a $50 donation, you could have the sweet treat delivered to your favorite teacher, your dentist, or loved one. Each donation, enough to pay for one patient visit to the Interfaith Health Clinic for someone in need. Thanks to so many of you who supported this more than $40,000, by the way, was raised for the cause. I had so yeah, much fun with Tirsa yeah. and Justin, Justin yeah. Kiefer. We had a great time uh, visiting a lot of folks this morning. Yeah, a lot of us were out and about. So hopefully yeah. uh, maybe we brought you one today. Happy Valentine's, yes. though. And you know, we should note on Valentine's Day, you know, as we've been saying, it's a day to celebrate love and really all its many different forms. Well, you know, that's true. And that can mean love between a couple, between friends, and family members, or even between a coach and his <laughs> sport, which is where this guy comes in. <laughs>